this video is going to prove a major theorem. It goes on to state that if H and K are finite subgroups of G of orders, order of H and order of K, then the order of H times K is equal to the order of H times the order of K divided by the order of H and the set K. If you like watching proofs of theorems like the one in front of you, seriously consider subscribing to my channel as this is all that we do here. Now, I'm going to make a claim that all duplications are, at least for now, many duplications come be from the order of H intersect K, sorry, for the elements in H intersect K. Now we know since H and K are subgroups, their intersection is a subgroup of G, so it has at least one element E. Now, how about we let H be in H and little k be in k, big K and A be in the intersection since A is in H intersect K which is a subgroup of G that implies implies that A inverse is also an element in H intersect K. Now, little h times k is clearly in hk. hk is in hk. Now, note the following. Note that hk is also the same I want to say one last thing first. Uh, a in H intersect K, that implies that A is in H. A inverse being an element of A intersect K implies that A inverse is in K. So now HK is equal to HA. This is in H because H is a subgroup and H and A are both elements of H and H is closed. And also A inverse times K is in K because A inverse is in K, little k is in the group K or the subgroup K, so their product is in there. Now there's no reason unless H is E, sorry, A is E. There's no reason why H times A should equal A. Likewise, there's absolutely no reason why A inverse K should equal to K. But it does it the product still equals to HK. If you don't see that yet, so let me, this is the same playing in the associative law game. This is the same as that. This here is the same as this, but this is HE times K, which is HK, like I said it was. So we just found many different ways of writing HK. You can write it down as HA, times A inverse K. Okay, so what we have is we have order of H intersect K ways at least we have at least order of H intersect K ways of writing HK. And HK was arbitrary. I just picked any old H in big H and little k in big K. So each HK, I have 
or at least order of H intersect K ways of writing it. The question is, did we account for all duplications? Did we account for all duplications? Well, let's see. Suppose HK equals H1K where H1 is in K and, sorry, H1 is in H and K1, which I didn't write, is in big K. H1 is in H and K sub 1 is in big K. Okay. Question is, is this really like HU and this U inverse K, where U and, of course, U inverse are in H intersect K. That's what we really want to show. Okay. So, what we have here is HK equaling H1, K1. That implies that H inverse H1 is equal to K times K1 inverse. Let's call that U. Let's call that U. Now, solving for H1 in, in the equation H inverse H1 equals U, we learn that H1 is HU. And solving this equation for K in K1, we learned that K1 is U inverse K. But that's exactly what we wanted. Now we have that H1 K1. So I just need to show that U is in the intersection. Okay. This here is in H, and this here is in K. This implies that U is in H and K, H intersect K, times K1, which is U inverse K. That is, what I'm doing is, I'm taking HK, and I'm multiplying it by U, and U inverse in the middle where U is in the intersection of H intersect K. But I've already counted for those. That this pair is one of the order of H intersect K ways of writing a K. I already counted for that. Now, when I picked HK to equal H1, K1, I never mentioned anything about H1 being HU and K1 being U inverse K. It came out of the algebra. It just is that way. Okay, so what this implies is we already accounted we already counted we already counted this h1k1 as one of the order of k intersect k ways of writing HK. So in the end, this implies there are exactly order of H intersect K ways of 
writing elements in HK. Writing elements in HK. Each element in HK, I can write this number of times. Okay, so this implies that the order of HK, which has lots of duplications, is not equal to the order of H times the order of K. But if you divide by order of H into set K, it does work out. That is, the order of H into set K ways of writing elements in HK, that does equal to order of H times the order of K. But we wrote it this way and the theorem has been proven. If you like math like this, seriously consider subscribing to my channel. Please leave a comment, click the like button, See you guys in the next video. Watch and learn.